Hello, everybody. Well, most of you, if not all of you know, my best friend. It's not a motherfucker. So guys, how are you doing? Uh, he's going to be joining me on today's build. Now you can see how small both of us are. So I'm going to do this uh, so I can feel taller. Uh, but yeah, so Nati's going to join me today. I just have this booster like I have in everywhere because I'm well, short. I'm not getting the booster. Because I have only one. Okay. Um, but yeah, so we're going to get actually started. We just cleared the table. And uh, yeah, let's get started. So. Uh, we put uh, the case right over here so it will be easier for us to work with. Uh, so we're going to get started. This is the Creator uh, 400M uh, chassis, uh, which is uh, really, really nice. It's not from the gaming series, uh, but it, uh, it's uh, a mid-tower and it can have an extended uh, ATX uh, motherboard uh, from uh, extended to uh, normal ATX to mini and to uh, micro, of course. Uh, so you can have all of them in this chassis. It comes already with a pre-cooling of uh, two fans of 140 at the front and another 140 at the back. For this build, I'm gonna use the i9-10900K uh, uh, CPU and MSI. Leona, I love you. Martin, John, thank you. I got the Mag Z 590S Ace. I'm always saying S. Ace uh, motherboard, which is amazing really really amazing i have to tell you i'll be honest i opened it before to look and see uh, and it's uh, beautiful beautiful so hopefully you can see it pretty well of course i'm gonna post all the pictures and everything uh after the build so this is a beautiful uh motherboard and we have a lot to talk about uh this motherboard it's really advanced it has four m2 the NVMe hard drives, you have four M2 connectors here. One of them is for generation four. Three of them is for generation three. All of them have aluminum cover on them, which is amazing. I believe in MSI, it's called the Frozer. Uh, you have three PCI Express uh, connectors here. You have Audio, Bo Audio Boost 5 with an amplifier uh, built in. Uh, the thing I'm excited the most is this back panel. Insane amount of USBs. You have uh, eight USBs in the back. Uh, six of them is uh, 3.2. Uh, two of them is, uh, you have of course two Thunderbolts in the back, two uh, mini uh, uh, display ports, which is, which is amazing for, four, for 8K if you want to. And uh, Wi-Fi, I think it's the latest generation, it's the 6E. And of course uh, the exit for um, the audio jacks, which is really, really amazing. And of course an onboard HDMI, what I do usually when I assemble a PC, I usually put whatever I can on the motherboard first and then I install it in the chassis itself. I'm just going to get started, which the easiest thing is to put the CPU inside. Of course, if you're doing it for the first time, please be careful. You have a marking on the CPU at the corner in which corner you're supposed to put it on. Yeah, like I said, I'm going to use for this build the i9 10900K, which I'm going to use and touch really, really gently. It's not something you wanna to touch the circuits with your fingers or anything like that. And in the CPU itself, you can't see it in the camera. It doesn't matter how close I will get. You have a marking in the corner, in which corner it's supposed to go in, uh, in the motherboard. So I'm just gonna look it up and see where the corner is marked. And you just put it really, really gently on top. And that's it. You don't need to apply any pressure, no nothing. So what I'm gonna do right now, I'm just gonna close this and this plastic is just gonna pop off and it's gonna lock the CPU in its place. So what we did right now, we put the CPU inside of the motherboard. So the next thing, the easiest thing to do is to take the RAM sticks and uh, put them in their slots. Just uh, plug it in and you're good to go. Nice, now we have the CPU and we have the RAM inside. The graphic card is the late, it's the last thing we're going to hook up to the system. Uh, and right now, I believe, uh, Nati, we can put this inside. We're going to start with putting um, the motherboard in inside. I'm going to put it really, really gently here. This is the K360 liquid system by MSI, which is really, really cool. It has uh, three fans. Actually, it has four fans. Four fans. It's called Drops, if I'm saying it right in English. The water block, you can actually see, I'm going to show you. Here are the three fans. And by the way, uh, this uh, water block has a 2.4 inch uh, LCD screen that you can show your system specs on it, your temperature, 
images, whatever you want. So here we have the radiator. This is a 361 uh, closed water system. And like I said, you have four fans, uh, 4.0, uh, 140, I believe, uh, on the radiator. And you have another smaller one, which is the Throx uh, 3, uh, which is on the water box. NVMe hard drives is the fastest uh, hard drive there is. And uh, they really have a high performance and um, they really work in a high speed and they're really really small they're in the size of my pinky and they're like plug and play you just connect them lock them in and you're good to go uh, so yeah cables. no cables no SATA connectors it's really really simple and it's like zero latency because it's like built in on the motherboard hard drive in a motherboard and what I'm gonna do right now I'm just gonna take the cooling system and I'm gonna lock it back uh, this water block has a 2.4 inch uh, LCD screen as well for you to see uh, spec, usage data, temperatures, images, banners, what, I think basically anything you want to see which is really really cool. Uh, we have a 360 uh, radiator here. So what we did we took um, the CD uh, thingy off, the shroud for the CD and then now we're gonna put the radiator so we're gonna lay it back down we're gonna do that uh, this uh, fan will pull in uh, so yeah right now I'm gonna put the water blockage in so I put the cables aside now this is the LCD screen it's looking like a yeah like really freaking cool and MSI thank you thank you for being my sponsor uh, and supporting me my stream and the Israeli community you know it Leona Martin John you're the best uh, guys uh, this is the moment. Everything is connected besides the uh, GPU 3090 Gaming X Trio from MSI and this like the other friends the Throx 4. Uh, this is the same for this um, uh, GPU when it comes to cooling. Three fans, 120 if I'm not mistaken. This is the 3090 comes like this beautiful from MSI this is the motherboard I have to tell you it was out from the case before I just put it here so you can see uh, the box itself so this is the beautiful uh, gaming x3 3090 uh, by MSI I have to tell you when it comes to the cooling there is really big uh, cooling radiators here too which are separated of course you have uh, aluminum covers and you have the back panel, a cooling back panel as well. And uh, this is just a masterpiece uh, of its own. Of course, like I said, after we're gonna finish building this PC, I'm gonna set all night this setup uh, back on. I'm gonna do some benchmark before and after overclocking. Uh, today it's gonna be without overclocking. Once I'm gonna have shot on and Nati here back, uh, we're gonna do the overclock for CPU and GPU. I'm overclocking the GPU with MSI Afterburner. Uh, when it comes for connectors when you connect this to your pc you have to make sure that it can first fit in the chassis and that from your uh, psu this uh gpu requires uh three connectors three of eight connectors from your psu to the gpu so make sure you have those cables when you're buying and a powerful psu okay we're good so gpu 3090 gaming x3 going in Let's go. I wish I could start the stream like right now that I'm so chilled. You see how chilled I am? At the beginning of the stream, I was mumbling. I couldn't even talk. So once you put a GPU in, it's basically plug and play. You connect the uh, power supply and you're good. But if you want to take it out, don't yoink it out. You have a security mechanism that you need to gently press next to the PCI uh, express connector right underneath the GPU card so don't try to yoink it out if you want to take it out you have a small thing just press it there it's a small plastic it would come loose and you can take it out so yeah the uh, GPU is here nice let's lock it in and guys don't be lazy connect it really really good so it won't move or go anywhere because it's a heavy graphic card Ayman is on the way with hummus and labane finally Malo okay so right now the last thing we have to do 
Uh, okay, we secured it. Now I'm going to connect the power to the GPU. And this PC is ready. I just need to break the cables in the back of it to do cable management. But I think we're good to go. And hopefully by tomorrow, I'll be able to go live and to show you. I'm gonna plug it to the power so we can see it just turns on. Okay, now I'm connecting. Uh, this uh, GPU requires requires guys three connectors uh, eight pin connectors and okay i have to tell you we at the at the beginning we took this uh, tempered glass door off so it would be easier to work uh, during the assembly uh, i'm going to apply it uh, here and it makes it by the way really really easier to work and to open and close without screws so i'm gonna put this back and... nice now guys Nati told me people love when you do this. I'm gonna peel everything off. I'm going to peel everything off so you can see it. So I'm really, really, really excited that I have a new PC. Well, we're excited. So let's see how everything is. This is my brand new MSI powered built 3090. Uh, Z590 motherboard cooling system, the MAGA K360. Uh, what else am I missing? 3090 Gaming X Trio uh, graphic card, uh, 1200 uh, PSU uh, gold, uh, memory uh, 4000 um, CL15, 32 gigs, uh, 4 of 8. If I missed, oh, and NVMEs, uh, of course, uh, 2 tera NVMEs. I just want to thank everybody for being here during all uh, the funny moments, the nice moments, the awkward moments. And a big, big thank you, of course, to Nati over here. And Ayman is over here chilling on the sofa. He's like, ahalan, everybody. Uh, so Nati, thank you so much for joining me today and helping me out. And again, thank you so much to MSI, uh, again, for this amazing year and the opportunity to be sponsored by you and to work with you. Uh, Leona, Martin, John, thank you. And uh, yeah, more to come from MSI. And uh, just uh, like that in the end, uh, we have some more giveaways that are going on right now. So make sure to check them out. And I'm gonna see you next tomorrow or on Sunday. I need to take this setup apart and rebuild it again. So uh, God bless you all. Shabbat Shalom. Thank you for being here. I love you and have a great rest of the evening. Adios.